Hello homesteaders, I'm Amy and Jay's behind the camera but you mostly see him anyway so it's my turn. <laughs> Welcome. She's to much better looking than I am so that's okay. <laughs> Welcome to our Harvest Moon Homestead and guess what today is. Today is the day to start uh, cooking maple sap because the temperature is just right, the sun is shining on the trees and we are getting sap running uh, on top of the frozen sap that was already out there. Like this bucket is, uh, it's got a big chunk of ice. Watch me pour it in. Ice. Which but is frozen sap. Some of it's frozen sap and the rest of it, some of it's probably uh, frozen water and uh, it'll just evaporate away. That's what, that's what these are, evaporator pans. So you can see the steam coming off of them. We got a fire started down here, and uh, both uh, trays are starting to get filled up some. And I've got probably 45 more trees to check and bring the buckets <laughs> in while Jay mans the fire because I don't do that. And uh, now this is a process that you've got to stay and mess with the whole time, or you can burn a whole batch of syrup in a blink of an eye and lose it all. So don't got ask how we know that. We. We might know that because we have done that before. So it's trial and error. You'll learn as you go. So Amy's so going to go. The, this is the first step of uh, what we're doing. We're going and collecting buckets of sap and bringing them and uh, putting them in the evaporator. And we'll keep showing you the rest of the steps as we go along and we'll catch you in a bit. We're uh, just now starting to get some decent heat built up in the firebox part of it. This is a long process to get going here. And as, I, as you can see, since we're having to melt down all the sap that's being brought in here, it's not boiling yet. It's going to take quite a while to get this to be to the boiling point. We need that to boil. That way it'll evaporate off the water and leave the actual true sap part that we make the maple syrup out of. This is a long, long process. This is why maple syrup costs so much when people buy it at the stores. I mean, it's very labor intensive, hauling the buckets, splitting the wood, standing around in the cold, keeping this going. We've got plenty of wood all around here, probably four or five ricks here and a few more around in another spot. So we'll check back here once we get this boiling and then start to bleed off some of the uh, end product, which then we'll take it over to a different cooker and do that final cook down on it and then we'll filter it three times so hang with us folks that steam coming off of there is the water being separated from the uh, sap and we keep cooking it till that water gets evaporated down to at least 50 percent of what the solution is it takes about 10 gallons of sap to make one quart of maple syrup so it's a lot of cooking down to get all that done from here, once it gets down to a certain color and level, we drain it out and we take it over to another pot and another cooker, and I'll go over there in a second. Over here you can't see it real well right now because it's starting to foam a little, but it's a lot darker brown than the clear color that started. Now this is sitting on a cooker on propane, and we'll cook this here, we'll cook this down about halfway down. Uh, with this, you really got to watch this here, it gets to a certain point within seconds it starts to boil and foam and this is where you really lose a whole batch if you don't keep a close eye on it. It'll foam out over the top of this and ruin the whole batch of it and that's a good five gallons of syrup in there. Well by the time it's cooked down about two and a half. From here it goes to a third step. It'll go into the kitchen over here. We'll cook it down a third time over there and then we'll filter it three times before we put it in the bottles. So we'll keep working on this and keep getting with you on it. As you can see, uh, the little white buckets, we've got them scattered around the woods. That's one of the hard parts is getting out to all these buckets.
Because that's how you got to get the sap and drag it back up to the cooker. Okay, we have finished the two steps outside uh, the big cooker. We first initially put all the sap in started cooking it down. Then I went over the second set of burners and we cooked it down some more onto those. And now it's in the kitchen finishing its final cook down. We end up filtering this five times with these cloth uh, filters to make sure we get as much of the impurities out as we can. And then we'll bottle it. So we'll carry it on to the next step here in just a moment. We're doing our fifth and final filter on this batch right here. We'll uh, pull this filter up, we'll go ahead, get it out, and then we'll start bottling some. All right, we're going to go ahead and start uh, dishing out some of the uh, syrup into bottles here. Bear with me on this. Uh, no automation, it's all done by hand. I know it looks extremely thin right now, one because it's very, very hot, and then we don't add anything to our syrup. There are people that have their pure maple syrup out there that add corn syrup to thicken it up, they had extra sugar in it, uh, none of that needs to be done. And pure natural syrup is thinner than what that Aunt Jemima, whoever brand you buy stuff is. Um, there is a bottle, and we're going to get another bottle over here and do us another one. Once it's placed in the refrigerator, it gets even thicker, but it never gets completely thick like you think it's going to get. But the taste, oh my gosh, uh, I can't wait to try some of this tomorrow morning. We have been told by people at the farmer's market that we have probably the best maple syrup around. Uh, I don't know what to compare it to. I know I enjoy it, so that's what matters. We, we do it primarily for ourselves, and then we sell off extra at the farmer's market and festivals. And on our online store, which here comes the plug, is uh, www.ourharvestmoonhomestead.com and we have an online store there. You'll hang on just one moment. And there is a finished bottle of our maple syrup that we make here on the homestead. Um, as I've shown from the very beginning, this is a very time-consuming, labor-intensive process. We have to do 10 gallons of sap just to get one quart of syrup and all the work involved in it. It's a labor of love, but oh, it tastes so good and it's so good for you. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave comments below. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and go to our webpage. Check us out. You can get us on Instagram and Facebook as well. Hope you're all having a good day and hope you all got some good maple syrup to have for breakfast.